The advent of Keyshawn Davis, a young American boxer who has sprung into the scene with a flurry of knockouts and overpowering performances, has lit the sport of boxing ablaze. Exactly where he needs him. Oh! Davis has already established himself as a top prospect in the sport, despite just being 24 years old. He has a perfect record of 9-0, including six knockout victories, which helped him get to this point. Thus, keep watching this video to see why Keyshawn Davis could be boxing's next superstar. Why Keyshawn Davis could be boxing's next superstar On February 27, 2021, Davis faced Lester Brown for the first time in his professional career and emerged victorious through a technical knockout in the second round. Since that time, he has gone on to win fights over some of the most accomplished competitors in his weight class, including Juan Carlos Burgos, Richmond Ashley, Omar Tienda Bahena, Esteban Sanchez, Jose Zaragoza, Lester Brown, and Jose Antonio Meza, among others. Throughout his career, Davis has shown an incredible mix of speed, power, and ring intelligence, making him a difficult opponent for anybody. The fact that Davis has been able to successfully finish bouts is one of the most amazing aspects of his career so far. His record of six knockout victories demonstrates that he is more than capable of putting an opponent out of commission at any time. On the other hand, he is a patient boxer who is able to pick apart his opponents via the use of precise and technical boxing. Because of his flexibility, he's a challenging opponent to train for and has become a fan favorite in the sport as a result of his success. Davis has already established himself as a leading prospect in the sport, despite the fact that he's only beginning his professional career. His ability to combine power, speed, and skill has earned him a fan favorite, and his record of success in competition speaks for itself, given that he has never been beaten. If he keeps going in this direction, he has the potential to become the next great thing in boxing. The prospect of further development on Davis's part is one of the most fascinating aspects of his professional life. In spite of the fact that he is now 24 years old, he is still maturing as a boxer and has the potential to become one of the best fighters of his age. The more fights he engages in, the more experience he accrues, and the more honed his talents become. As a result, he becomes an even more formidable adversary. However, a significant amount of pressure is associated with a big potential. If Davis wants to accomplish what he's set out to do in the sport, he'll need to keep putting in long hours of labor and maintaining his concentration. As he takes on more difficult foes and more difficult obstacles, he will need to continue to adjust his fighting style and improve his skills. Davis, despite the strain, seems to be handling everything in a calm and collected manner. Fans adore him, and the media can't get enough of him because of his cool manner and unflappable self-assurance, which he displays both inside and outside the ring. He also benefits from having a solid support system, which includes his father and trainer, both of whom have been important contributors to his achievement to this point. In general, Keyshawn Davis is one of the most intriguing young boxers to emerge in recent times. Because of his incredible strength, speed, and technical skill, there is every reason to believe that he will one day become a household name in the sport. The only thing that can tell us how far he can go is time. But one thing is certain. Everyone in the boxing world will be keeping a careful eye on him. Keyshawn Davis drops his last fighter, Francesco Patera. On July 22nd, Keyshawn Davis completed another milestone in his short career by boxing for a full 10 rounds for the first time. Davis had his share of memorable moments throughout the bout. Davis knocked down Francesco Patera in the eighth round of their lightweight battle and landed a sufficient number of power blows, especially in the second half of their bout, to convince the judges. The Olympic silver champion was given a shutout victory by judges Mike Bauer, 100-89, and David Sutherland, 100-89, and according to judge Joseph Mason, 99-90. The Olympic silver medalist won nine rounds. Patera's five-year unbeaten run was brought to an end by the 24-year-old fighter from Norfolk, Virginia. Davis, who increased his record to 9-0 with six knockout victories. On the other hand, Patera now has a record of 28-4 with 10 knockouts. Yet in his 10 years as a professional, he has never been knocked out. Details from their fight Let's start with the action in round 10 and work our way back to round 1. That way we can get to the action and watch the technical breakdown of each round. At the beginning of the 10th round, the only thing that remained to be determined was whether or not Davis would be able to become the first boxer to stop Patera before the fight went the full distance. So, Patera was knocked down by Davis' left hook with little under 45 seconds remaining in the 10th round. Just before the midway mark of the 10th round, Davis connected with a left-hand combination that landed flush, 
When there was little under a minute left in the ninth round, Davis connected with Patera with a right hand as Patera moved forward. At one minute, five seconds left in the eighth round, Davis floored Patera with a short right, sending him crashing to the canvas. Patera was able to get back on his feet by the time Nelson had counted to eight, recover his composure, and land blows on Davis that allowed him to survive until the finish of the eighth round. In the seventh round, Davis floored Patera with a right hand that connected with less than 40 seconds left. Patera was forced to halt striking after being hit by a right hand from Davis with a little over one minute and 20 seconds remaining in the seventh round. When there were just over 15 seconds left in the sixth round, Davis delivered a combination punch to Patera's head and body that was successful. In addition, just over one minute and 15 seconds remained on the clock in the sixth round when Davis ended a three-punch combination with a right hand that drew Patera's attention. In the fifth round, Patera landed a punch with his right hand with little under 40 seconds remaining on the clock. A few seconds later, Davis connected with an uppercut to the left, but Patera quickly turned away from the ropes to prevent Davis from continuing the attack. With just over 10 seconds remaining in the fourth round, Davis dropped Patera with a right hand that capped a combination as Patera retreated into the ropes. This knocked Patera out. Just after the mark at the halfway point of the fourth round, Davis connected with a right hand. Around 1 minute and 15 seconds into the fourth round, Davis connected with a left hook to Patera's midsection. Around 1 minute into the third round, Davis let his hands go and was able to avoid being hit by Patera's blows. Later on in the third round, Davis, who was being patient, connected with a few of the right hands. Patera attempted to close the distance as the second round drew to a close, but he was unable to connect with any clean blows. Around 1 minute and 15 seconds into the second round, Davis connected with a left hook as Patera sought to get away from him. In the closing minute of the first round, Davis successfully broke through Patera's guard and connected with a right hand when Patera had his back against the ropes. Also, Patera maintained his distance from Davis for the whole of the first round, during which he fought from a defensive position for practically the entire three minutes. Keyshawn Davis would unleash full arsenal against George Cambosos. On the undercard of the fight between George Cambosos and Maxi Hughes, Olympic silver medalist Keyshawn Davis improved his record to 9-0 as a professional by defeating Francesco Patera, a former European champion. Davis, despite the fact that he's considered a prospect, holds himself to a higher level. And his goal for each bout is to demonstrate the prowess of a seasoned world champion. I don't really think of myself as a prospect. I'm going to raise the bar for myself in terms of my expectations and standards. I look at myself as a world champion. I'm just in the stages of getting there, he told Sky Sports. He added, Cambosos is a fantastic fighter and he never backs down from a battle. At the end of the evening, those who will emerge victorious are going to be the fans. If there was a chance for me to compete at a higher level, I would be really appreciative and delighted about the possibility. Right then and there, that battle would force me to show all I had in my arsenal. The 24-year-old man has a crystal clear sense of destiny and he feels that he has the capacity to vanquish anybody who stands in his way. There's no question as to whether or not he wants to win the championship. Next year, I'm going to take home the title of world champion. Davis said with full conviction that it is going to happen. Leave a comment below telling us if you believe Keyshawn Davis has what it takes to be a great boxer and explain why you think so. And that wraps things up. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.